Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is night prayer for Saturday, March 1st. It's the seventh week after the Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 137 and 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 1 through 14. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We've not loved you with our whole hearts. We've not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Alleluia, by the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. Alleluia, Psalm 137. <clears throat> Alleluia, by the rivers of Babylon we sat down, and there we wept as we remembered Zion. We hung our harp upon the willows there, for it was there that our captors asked us to sing a song. They that oppressed us required of us joy, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing God's songs in a strange land? If I should forget you, O Jerusalem, may my right hand wither. If I do not remember you, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. If I do not prefer Jerusalem above all joy. Remember, O God, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, tear it down, tear it down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed? Happy are they that reward you as they deserve, as you deserve. Happy are they that take and dash your little ones against the stones. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. By the rivers of Babylon we sat down. And there we wept as we remembered Zion. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's second letter to Timothy, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my beloved child, Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayer night and day. Recalling your tears, I long to see you, so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and now I am sure lives in you. And for this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. His grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. 
but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to life through the gospel. For this gospel I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher, and for this reason I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day what I have entrusted to him. Hold to the standard of teaching, sound teaching, that you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, we are desolate apart from you, for it is only in you that we find our joy. Make haste and visit us and bring your dominion to all the world and all its peoples. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>